just as you are. The Spirit calls. Come, just as you are. Come and see. Come receive. Come and live forever. And strength for today. Taste the living water and never thirst again. Come just as you are. The Spirit calls. Come just as you are. Come and see. Come receive. Come and live forevermore. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Indeed, all are welcome. I see more of the Caring Needles group today. The Mass is offered for their intentions. and. As we come together, let us bring all our intentions and prayers. All those who joined this Mass from different parts of the world. It's uh, my dad's fourth death anniversary, so my siblings don't have a Mass there in India yet. Churches are not opened, so they are all sitting in front of the TV and Facebook. So we come together with our intentions and prayers and all that we are and we have, all that we go through. And we are grateful for all the blessings, our family and friends, our job, our neighbors, and all those who work hard to keep our city and country in peace and harmony and grace. So we acknowledge the times we fail to be the best of ourselves. So we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who commanded us to honor father and mother, have mercy in your compassion on my parents. Forgive them their sins and bring them to see one day in the gladness of eternal glory. We bring to you all our deceased and departed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A 
A reading from the first book of Kings. The brook near where Elijah was hiding ran dry because no rain had fallen in the land. So the Lord said to Elijah, move on to Sarephath of Sidon and stay there. I have designated a widow there to provide for you. He left and went to Sarephath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, please bring me a small cupful of water to drink. So she left to get it, and he called out after her, please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first, make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel says, the jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year, and Elijah and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to be to God. God. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, Lord let, let your, your face, face shine, shine on us. When I call, answer me, O oh my just God. You who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer. Men of rank, how long will you be dull of heart? Why do you love what is vain and seek after falsehood? Lord, Lord, let, let your, your face, face shine. shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful ones. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Tremble and sin not. Reflect upon your beds in silence. Lord, Lord let, let your, your face, face shine, shine on us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart more than when grain and wine abound. Lord, Lord let your, let your face, face shine on us. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand 
where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, my dear friends in the Lord Jesus Christ, we started this journey Sunday with the solemnity of the Holy Trinity. And we were reminded in the new order that the dignity of existence is coexistence. And so yesterday, church reminded us in this new communion and relationship with God, it's not the Ten Commandments, but the Beatitudes should be the yardstick to live with. And so today, church reminds again the, the continuation of the Beatitudes, but to tell us, the disciples, Jesus expect us to be a healing agent, a cleansing, purifying agent in this world. That to the Jewish people, Jesus is saying this. They know that in every sacrifice they make in the temple, as per the direction from the book of Levites, chapter 2, verse 13, and Exodus, chapter 30, that they have to add salt in the sacrifices in the temple. So they hear that their life should be part of the sacrifice in the temple. They know the Middle Eastern country, every covenant, every mutual agreement is set on all the participants eating the salt. You know, we, we read that in the book of Numbers, chapter 18. And, and so they know that they have to be that binding force. And then the book of Ezekiel talks about the custom of bathing every newborn babe in salt to ward off every evil spirits. It was probably to provide more immunity, but every evil spirit should be warded off. And so they know their presence has to eradicate evil in the society. And so Jesus telling them that they are the salt of the earth and telling us we are the salt of the earth, that's what Jesus is expecting from us in our thoughts and words that we are to be a person who cleanse the surrounding where we are by rejecting evil and its force from this world, staying away from sin and greed. Sodom and Gomorrah is a big Jewish reminder, the greed. And then gospel reminds us that sin causes total destruction of everything. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 29 reiterates that. And then it tells the story of the stale salt, the salt that lost its flavor and seasoning. The church is asking you and me to look into our faith journey and see how could we be a little more better disciple of Jesus, a little more better witness for Jesus. Remember that word Marthus, martyr, and the word ictus, fish? Both means same, witness. That's what we are called to be, let us pray. Precious Father, we thank you for the gift of our life and this day. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings. Together we come to you as we are, asking your grace and strength that we be your witness as disciples. 
for all the leaders of the church, that they may be ministers of healing and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the leaders of the nations, may they be sources of justice and peace for all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the gift of peace, may it be granted to all in peril of war, violence, and fear throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all ministers of the gospel, may they be strengthened and guided in the fulfillment of their ministry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the gift of life, sacred from the moment of conception to that of natural death, a God-given right, may we always give thanks, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died in the hope of the resurrection, especially those that will die today, may Jesus welcome them to eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we offer all these prayers and those that are in the silence of our hearts. Grant us the grace that we be aware of our call to be your disciple in our thoughts, words, and actions. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 My dear sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, May the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the, the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good, good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. O God, whose mercy is beyond measure, receive with favor our humble prayers, and through the sacrament of our salvation, Grant to the souls of our friends and benefactors and relatives of caring needle groups remission of all their sins through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs, in one chorus of exultant praise, as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and endured willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and uh, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and profess your resurrection until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember the intentions of the Caring Needles group. Remember also our parents, brothers, sisters, and children who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look, not on our sins, but on the faith of this, your church, 
and graciously grant them the peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be with My dear sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, you that you should, should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof but only, only say the word, word and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. You can. 
us pray. May participation in this heavenly sacrament obtain perpetual light and rest. For my parents, we pray, O Lord, and bring us along with them to the fullness of your everlasting glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you this day and all the days of your life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go and live as the salt of the earth. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day. Thank you, Father. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider Sings my.